Hi everyone, I'm Mindy from the Museum of Science and Industry. Uh, I'm here live at Cape Canaveral uh, uh, at the press site. I'm here with astronaut Rick Mastraccio. He is here today to talk a little bit about some of the missions that he's been on. Have you been on three? Three space shuttle missions. Awesome. Um, what inspired you to become an astronaut? You know, growing up, I was always interested in math and science, but I really didn't know what it would take to become an astronaut. I did not even realize you could become an astronaut until I saw an advertisement in a magazine when I was about 26 or 27 years old. So the advertisement basically said, we're looking for astronauts to send away for an application. So I did. I got the application in the mail, and I kind of just sat on it for a while and eventually sent it in. Sent it in. But then even after I sent that application, it still took me nine years of applying and going wow. to school at night and training as a pilot and doing other things before I finally got selected as an astronaut. Wow, nine years. Nine years of application. Did you at any time feel disheartened by no, that? No, <laughs> because during that time I had a great job. I was a NASA engineer. I was working in control, working with the astronauts, helping to develop space shuttle. I wasn't worried about getting selected, but I thought if I ever did, it would be great. Awesome. How did it feel when you finally got the letter that said? Oh, it's fantastic. You get a phone call, and the phone call says, hey, Rick, we're, we're excited to get as a new astronaut. And, of course, I was thrilled. Yeah, that is amazing. So you've been on three launches. What's it like to actually go through launch? Like, right. what does it feel like? Well, my last space shuttle launch was just about four or five weeks ago on STS-131. And it was incredible. Every launch is incredible. That one's obviously very still fresh in my mind. And the space shuttle weighs at launch about four and a half million pounds. But it jumps off the launch pad. It has over seven million pounds of thrust. So it jumps off the launch pad. So when it takes off and those solid rocket boosters light, you just get it's like a kick in the pants. You're off that launch pad and accelerating constantly all the way up for until eight and a half minutes when the main engine shut off and you're floating in space. That sounds unbelievable. Um, what is running through your head when you're sitting there for eight and a half minutes? Eight and a half minutes, really, you're, you're pretty busy monitoring the space shuttle systems. I was up on the flight deck for, for all my launches, so you're making sure everything is, is uh, operating properly. So you, you get a little bit of a peek out the window. You, uh, you can see one of the things we do is we're flying upside down, and then we roll the heads up. And as we're rolling the heads up, you could actually look out the window and you could see the east coast of the United States as you're rocketing overhead. So you try to sneak a peek out the window yeah. every once in a while, but like you're basically concentrating on your head. Wow, that sounds absolutely amazing. Yes. Um, what Do you have any advice for kids that want to go off and pursue careers absolutely. in science and technology? Absolutely. Find something you're really interested in, whether it be math, science, or a medical field, or even become a teacher. There's lots of different areas and different ways to get involved with NASA or become an astronaut. You know, we have uh, folks from all different walks of life as astronauts nowadays. Find something you really like and just study hard and become really good at it. Continue on to get your college degree, get a master's degree, and then find a good job and settle in. And then maybe send in an application to NASA and see what happens. That's, that's what I did, and it worked out great. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Rick, for coming thank and talking you. with us today, and uh, have fun watching the launch. I will. All thank right. you. Thank you. Yay, that's awesome. Thank you.